So now, folks, I think we have to say clearly here that not everything happens uh, because of karma, as uh, Uncle mm. Vijay mentioned. That, mm. uh, there may be some temperature reasons, uh, I would say uh, natural reasons, mm. there may be physical reasons, I would say uh, inorganic reasons, mm. there may be the whole uh, natural law as we take as Dhamma Niyama. Uh, there may be reasons like uh, the changes and dynamics of our mind and mental factors, chitta chitta sikha, and also karma. Karma may make up the most, but there are mm. other workings mm. happening. Mm. Now, Uncle Vishal, I think we have to tell people that what good karmas can they do to neutralize? Let's say they don't know what what has been going, to, what has been coming from the previous life. Yes. None of us know. Yes. What you know is that what you are having now. Let's say you are happy, then you think that okay, I'm I have done good things. Yeah. When somebody is uh, going through a bad time, yes. Uh, that person might think that uh, all right, uh, uh, I would say I may have done bad things. Yeah. Yes. So it's 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 more uncertainty hmm. surrounding about this uh, thinking. Let's say, regardless of whether we know or not, yes. depending on how we experience yes. or not, yes. what good karmas can somebody do to intensify, increase good karmas in this life? Yeah. Now, Malaysian Buddhists, they have access to Buddhist temples, Buddhist yeah. centers, Dhamma talk, Dhamma discussion, mm -hmm. now online stuff. So, what could they do? What could be the higher level of good karmas they could do to neutralize even yeah. the uh, bad karmas in the past. Uh, the Buddha, of course, laid out the Noble Eightfold Path, which is divided into Sila, Samadhi and Panya. So, uh, at the most basic level, we talk about Sila. And in that, the Buddha talks about ten wholesome deeds and ten unwholesome deeds. Yeah, And this uh, of the moral of the wholesome, this that we can all of us. We don't have to be Buddhist. There's no need to put the label Buddhist on ourselves. Any noble human being, yeah, should develop and can develop these four: generosity, dana, sila, bhavana, which is covered in the Eightfold Path, which is dana, generosity, generosity. Buddhist and Malaysians are excellent at this. We are very ready to part with our wealth. I experienced that hospitality. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, we are very. We don't even think about it, and that, that doesn't mean only uh, Buddhists. Mm -hmm. I think generally it's in the Malaysian the Malaysian mentality. Culture, the Malaysian mentality. Yes. Mm -hmm. To okay. So dana and that, but the motivation. We have to watch mm -hmm. because oh. I've been to many temples, yeah. And the first thing you walk in is in memory of. Mm -hmm. And this guy gave five million dollars. He gave five million dollars so that his name can be there. That is not a good motivation to reduce your karma. The good motivation for the same action would be: I have five million dollars. I don't know what to do with it. Let me give it where it can be usefully used. I have parted with my money. I have no more. Okay. Uh, this is this, uh, advice for the potential donors. Donors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give, give, yes. please give. <laughs> but give with the right motive. Okay. And I what cannot is, what take is the right motive. The right motive is I cannot take this away with me. Mm. All right. Somebody else will benefit. I have been the occasion of somebody's happiness. Mm -hmm. That's all I want. All right. And uh, even if that doesn't come, it doesn't matter. Mm. This was not mine anyway. Anatta. I cannot own anything. Mm -hmm. So that's the right motivation. Okay. So dana that is, is the first uh, good yeah. karma that you suggest, but to think dana a little differently than... than yeah, the, the motivation, the motivation. intention. Yes, yes. Yeah, we have to, as Buddhists, clean, clarify what it is we are doing. Uh, and when we do it, the same action for selfish reasons, the same action for selfless reasons, the karmic uh, fallout mm -hmm. is totally different. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to get. Mm -hmm. That's why right understanding has to come into play mm -hmm. all the time. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then you have dana, then you have sila, don't kill, don't steal, whatever, which most Malaysians mm -hmm. do. Uh, bhavana. Mm -hmm. That we don't do much. But it's uh, what is, what is bhavana? Too? Bhavana is me mental culture, mental cultivation. Bhavana, mm -hmm. 
all right, and uh, not enough mm -hmm. do it. A lot are coming in thanks to online, yeah, and uh, thanks to uh, sites like yours. They're very, very popular. So meditation uh, is becoming very popular, mm -hmm. sometimes for the wrong reasons. For example, mindfulness meditation mm -hmm. has become a... A business uh, has become a business. If we are talking the naked truth. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, it is. It is. But still, truth. mindfulness is good. Yes, it has to be done in the proper way. Yes, Jan uh, Jayasaro said that the, at least this is better mm -hmm. than no meditation yes. at all. Yes. Yeah, meditation for the wrong reason is better than no meditation at all.